Here we go. Just got it, what, like 20 minutes ago. You think it's gonna be gold? Welcome back to LDB Games. I'm Lord Darth Balls, climbing free. And we are about to get, I really freaking hope, a sacred shard. There it is. I have just finished three starring hard to get that sacred and I'm gonna pull it, baby. I, uh, I didn't play this game as much as I intended to this weekend because the new Legend of Zelda came out. Uh, Tears of the Kingdom, and it's absolutely incredible. Any Zelda fans, comment down below. Let me know what game got you into the franchise. I, For me, it was Link's Awakening on Game Boy, uh, and I've loved it ever since. Um, and they really stepped their game up with Tears of the... Uh, anyway, uh, this is a raid video, not, not a Zelda video, but I love the game. Uh, I've spent so much time playing it already. Anyway, so, I've pretty much got my, my base team down. Uh, I've got my Kyle. He's still at 50. Um, I've got, you know, I'm still working on some food. I've got a decent amount of food. Um, trying to get him to 60 as soon as possible. I was toying with the idea of pushing War Maiden up to 50 first. Um, because her base stats, she's so squishy. And it's very difficult to keep alive. Um, but Kyle and War Maiden come in for my damage. Uh, we've got decreased defense from War Maiden. Still got to get that booked. Uh, and we've got pure uh, pure damage and poisons from Kyle. I've got Greybeard in for control. He's got uh, an AoE freeze. Uh, he's obviously unbooked right now with a provoke on his A1 and a counterattack on his A2, uh, which is kind of cool. It's only an 80% without books, though. Uh, I need, I need, I need. I need a lot of rare books. It's amazing how badly, like how scarce rare books are. In this game. Uh, and then in terms of support and survivability, I'm bringing in Eolfrig. Uh, I actually had to borrow a helmet uh, for Sanguinia <laughs> to beat the, the last boss. Uh, and Sanguinia. I freaking love this champion. She, I didn't think she was that good, right? Same thing with Eolfrig. But coming into this account, she has a block debuffs and continuous heals on her A2, plus she has a chance of transferring debuffs to the target and then cleansing your whole team. This came in absolutely clutch against that final boss. Um, she was the absolute, an absolute game changer for me in terms of getting through campaign and starring them all. So that right there is, I believe, going to be my core five for the Doom Tower. I'm really struggling with whether I should level Shaman out or not. Uh, she's my only revive, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to need one, but I just don't like Shaman. I don't know. I just don't. She's just so mediocre uh, with a single target revive. Yes. Eh. Eh. Anyway, <laughs> uh, Kale does have all his masteries. I'm working through on War Maidens now. Um, I don't think I have anybody else's. No. Um... And I have been hitting clan boss. I've reached, um, I'm doing like a three key normal top chest. Uh, I'm thinking with some better gear. Oh, I haven't done the rest of my keys yet. <laughs> with some better gear, I can up that. Because what I'm realizing now, right, is that since I have my core champions for the team, gear is the biggest struggle. The biggest struggle. So I've been working my way up in dragons. I got a hard stop on stage 12. Um, and stage 11 is not 100% consistent, and stage 10 with the affinity just hurts. Everyone, almost everyone on my team is magic, which I feel like is a thing in the beginning of the game. Not sure. Um, but I'm pretty much farming stage 9 right now, reliably. I would love to be able to farm stage 11, because then I don't get 3-star gear anymore. Um, the problem is my gear's not strong enough for that yet. <laughs> and I probably need to spend some time in the keeps. Uh, I'm really hurting for magic potions. However, I do have to say, um, not this one. Yeah, this one. The rewards in these events for like a new player are actually kind of legit. Like this right here, 
combined with, I think it was in the Dragon Tournament, allowed me to get the first Star of Ascension on Yulfric to up his base stats a little bit. Um, I don't have a ring for him yet. Um, still got to start pushing through in Spider. But anyway, we're coming close to the end of the times 10. Uh, and you know what? What's the harm? There's some baller champions here. You got I you got to wonder, right? Let's see, eight, four, five, six. I've got enough space. We're pulling what I got, and maybe I'll get something good. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm getting a bunch of food, right? And that's the key because Kale's got to be sixty, and I really need War Maiden up to fifty or Sanguinea. I'm still torn between the two. Ilfrig works great at forty right now. Sanguinea with her base stats could stay alive longer. Same thing with War Maiden. So I'm, I'm really struggling between those two, but I don't have to decide just yet. I'm still, uh, what am I, four levels away? Five levels away. So it's getting to be crunch time, and at this stage, I know right now, I would not be able to get through probably even one of the Doom Tower floors. <laughs> so I'm really hoping to be able to make some progress. Maybe in these shards is what I need, but again, I don't think it's champions that I need. I think it's gear. Uh, and in the, uh, you know, various accounts that I've logged into for coaching and uh, potentially takeovers, gear is the biggest chokehold. It's the biggest thing preventing, hey, AOE decrease speed. It's the biggest thing preventing um, reaching certain levels, right? Certain speeds, certain amount of damage on clan boss, everything. Once you have the champions, you need the gear, right? Having the champions without the gear doesn't do you any good. Having the gear without the champions doesn't do you any good. Um, interesting. HP-based nuker, maybe? I don't know if that's going to be worth I think I have one of him already. Probably use him as food. <laughs> Ooh, epic! Ugh. Ripper! You know what? I shouldn't scoff at this. Because he's... Depending on what round of Doom Tower we're in... He's going to be a build, a must build for me for Scarab. Um, there's no way I have near enough poisons or damage mitigation to survive and just kill him with poisons. Uh, and he has one, two out of his three skills destroy the max HP, which is what you need to get through that shield. So, all in all, not actually, not a bad pull um, with Scarab on the horizon. Life Taker. I was hoping that was Sachi, but I don't really need another... Uh, single target. I don't really need another speed booster. Uh, single target decrease speed could help me in Fire Knight, actually. Um, I haven't really attempted Fire Knight yet. I really, it, the gear from Dragon is what you really want in the beginning of the game, right? Life seal, speed, and accuracy. Those are huge. Huge! Oh, no. <laughs> well, I'm gonna have to, what do I need? I need 120,000 silver. <laughs> All right, let me go see if I can find that somewhere. All right, I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel in terms of gear. <laughs> I, I got enough. Let's finish out these shards. Give me something good, baby. Here we go. All right, another rare. My Alkalis, my Colis, my Colis. Healer. Shield and ally protection. He actually may be a really important build. Ooh. Interesting. Faction Crips. He has some real potential. I've never used him before. He looks angry. He looks like an orc. I know he's Ogrim, but he looks like an orc. I think he's in the wrong faction. You need to, you need to find your home, buddy. What mushrooms staff with mushrooms on it? He's so big I can barely eat, barely fits the screen. <laughs> All right, here we go. Just got it. What like twenty minutes ago? You think it's gonna be gold? Nope. Epic. Ooh. Okay. Okay, that is a good pull. Not only is he a healer, but he has an AoE decrease attack. Heals all allies, and an extra for each debuff on the target. And he's got an AoE decrease attack with a turn meter reduction. Let's 
75% decrease attack, 100% turn meter reduction. So maybe I don't have my team just yet. <laughs> I think he's coming into it. I think he's coming into it. This is a really... Ooh. Ooh, that's huge. Did they change that? That wasn't always Doom Tower, was it? That is a huge pull. Huge pull. Might as well have been gold. Do they know I'm not spending money? I swear. I said it in the first video. I'm going to say it again. I get more pop-ups on my free-to-play account than I do on my main. And I've actually spent money on my main. I don't spend money on this account. I don't... It's like... It's like they try to get you in any which way possible. So I'm not going for the fusion. But I am competing in the events for the rewards. Because as, a, as an endgame player... These rewards are like, all right, sure, I'll take it. But but this right here, yeah, this is necessary, right? Book, I don't think I'm going to get there, but book, right? Energy, gems, 50k silver is, I don't understand. Why did I don't up that amount? It really should be more or at least scale with your level. Um, but like I said, those greater spirit potions were huge. Maybe I'll get some good out of that, but highly Highly doubtful. Uh, that's what I was just looking at. Um, and we were just looking at Summon Rush before. So, you know, if you're an early game player, even if you're not going for the fusion, like, look at this, right? Gems. Eh, needs to be more. Energy, right? I don't care if I win. I'm probably nowhere near going to win. But as long as I get the rewards, as long as I get the rewards, you can see I even pushed up to the book. Right, that was a last minute push right there. I um I was considering going for the fusion, but honestly, Tears of the Kingdom totally took me away from this account for a solid day. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna keep plugging away, working on getting my KL 60, and now I got a couple more to to spend some time on. Um still not sure who I'm gonna do for 50. If if you guys have an idea, let me know down below. Uh, and if you've made it this far, thanks for watching. I appreciate the view. This series has been an interesting exercise in my knowledge of the game. Maybe to realize maybe I don't know this game as well as I thought. But we all start somewhere. Again, thanks for watching. I'm Lord Darth Balls, and I'll catch you on the next video. Enjoy your raid.